from laying in bed at 7.25 on March 10th, and the clocks just went ahead. So it's not quite sunrise yet. God, this is beautiful. We <laughs> really like it here. I may want to come back. The $5 all-day tourist bus runs from 9 to late at night. And it stops uh, for 20-25 minutes at the end of its route. Just by the bridge that uh, crosses the canal. That connects uh, Veradero Peninsula to the mainland. And effectively turns... Uh, it's actually Hakakos Peninsula that the town of Veradero was on and turns uh, the peninsula into an island. The canal connects that bay with the ocean that appear just down here another couple of kilometers and uh, stops at uh, La Sangria restaurant right in front of you there. And uh, then you want to hop on to the other bus and uh, connect uh, back heading into town again. A couple of blocks west of where the five dollar tourist bus turns around we come to the entrance to Hotel Club Kawama. That is the view that you'll see uh, when the bus brings you from the airport and you'll uh, have your bags unloaded and go inside to check in and get your room. When you have been dropped off at the front entrance of Hotel Club Kawama, you'll uh, take your bags from the bus, go on in through the entrance to reception right there. And I see Tito there. He'll hop in that golf cart and drive your luggage and you to your room. There's the uh, reception. On the left is where you'll get your reservations for the a la carte restaurants between 10 and 12 every day. Further into the lobby, that's Heidi working at reception. And uh, in front of us now, uh, in the middle there is uh, Gillian, and behind the bar is Myeline. And uh, they work at the bar here and will serve you while you're waiting to be checked in. And there's some nice tables at the uh, north side of the lobby, right next to the pool. Across the pool is the uh, pool bar. And you can maybe zip over there while you're waiting as well. I was hungry tonight, so uh, besides ordering the soup and steak, I have uh, added uh, the uh, mushroom pizza with extra cheese. It is delicious. And I'm following up my uh, mushroom pizza at El Risolino Italian Restaurant with uh, medium rare to rare steak. When you enter the buffet through the main entrance, there are tables and chairs to the right, towards the ocean, in the left. And the first thing that you would do would be to uh, find yourself an open table, go to that table and leave something on that table so that uh, after you get your meal, you'll have a table to put your plate at. Then I suggest you get a plate and come and see what there is to eat. You can see that they've got some mixed vegetables, potatoes, corn, rice. There's some plantain, some pasta, and a couple of soups. Tomato, 
bread crumb. Up at the front this evening, there's a few different sauces. They have a uh, turkey there that they're going to carve up. Oh no, that's not a turkey. I'm a turkey. That's a big ham leg. Here are just a few pieces of toast, crust. Then along here you'll see some potatoes. Looks like uh, some sausage cut up. Some rice with a little vegetable added. A uh, pickled fish. Some pasta with some ham pieces in it. Here's some sauerkraut and some green beans, cauliflower, shredded carrot, green pepper, and behind that some tomato, Brussels sprouts, some purple cabbage, some more tomato, and oh, radishes cut up. I don't often see that. Go around the other side, and they have some fruit out. Is that papaya and pineapple? Look like some mixed fruit with some sugar syrup and oh yes yeah, some watermelon and uh, is that guava? I'm not. I don't eat a lot of that, so I'm not up to date on what that is. Um, oh, it looks like some type of a sausage, some butter, hard-boiled eggs, and a mixed seafood bag. There, there's some shrimp in there and. Some chickpeas with some pepper added. Back to it as I was saying, there's the ham. We'll go around first, just while we're here, to have a look at what they will have available for dessert for Friday, March the 14th. The desserts here have been improving every year since I've started coming a dozen years ago. They used to be just sugary. Now they're quite tasty. And uh, there's no way I could possibly not gain weight here if I'm not careful. Looks like a flan at the back. Oh, flan? I love flan. And here's a few different ice creams. And then a few toppings for the ice cream. In this steam table, they've got a mixed uh, brown rice, beans. There's some uh, chicken pieces and uh, minced beef and uh, rice. And over here is the grill. Looks like they've got some sausages ready to rock, or meatballs. I think that's meatballs. And this is some fish fillets. What kind of fish? Bassa. Bassa? And then over here are a few other things. Looks like uh, some pickled onions, olives, a little shredded cheese artichoke, pickles, more shredded carrots, and uh, a few sliced mushrooms there. And any moment now, the lineup outside is going to come in and I'm going to get run over. I am um, coming into room 3206 upstairs in building 32. And that's typical. There's a couple of uh, beds next to each other. Patio doors. I open the door and the breeze is blowing in. And off to uh, one end is uh, the washroom. Got the sink and the mirror there and the off to the left around the door is the shower and tub. Has louvered doors on the closet. You see the TV and the fridge there. This is their patio. They've pulled up a couple of beach chairs here. 
as well as have a few uh, chairs for company, I guess. And uh, they're right on the street, the entrance to La Tortuga Resort across the street there on uh, 5th, 5th Street, Calle Cinco. And uh, so there is uh, Tortuga. And uh, we're not far from the beach. Nothing at Kawama is far from the beach. There's a little bit of a ridge that they put in in the last year to hopefully guard against some of the hurricane-induced waves that do obstruct the beach view a bit, but from the second story, you still have it. Just in case you wonder why you decided to go spend a vacation in the winter time spend a couple of weeks even doesn't matter what goes wrong you come here lay around read a book get a tan Try not to eat and drink too much. And just sit for a while and contemplate why it is that you came to Cuba, to the beach. We're having a uh, French onion soup and it is delicious. We're at uh, Grand Canal restaurant and it is on the canal, which is itself a beautiful view. The south side of Kawama on the water. After our uh, onion soup, it wasn't uh, French onion, but it was a delicious soup. Karen had the chicken, and I have the beef steak, beef tech. <laughs> I think I'm going to enjoy it. At the back side of the pool bar and entertainment area turning north past building 9 on a bridge of land going down to the beach is the uh, 10 o'clock to uh, 5 o'clock grill and once the buffet closes at 2.30, this is what you're likely to run into at the grill. Is a lineup that may take you uh, 20 or 30 minutes to work your way through. Karen and I walked by this bush and thought, how pretty that is. Like two colors of flower on the same bush, I guess. Just different ages but they're so pretty flowers in the middle of winter our winter at home and uh, it was just hotter than the 80s earlier and just in the last few minutes a breeze has come up that makes it a little almost bearable and if you can't bear it, jump in the water. The water's fine. And so is the weather. And I'm here with the most beautiful woman in Cuba. She's all wet. Thank <laughs> you.
as I have said in many earlier comments, uh, the food may not be five star, but to sit here and eat our uh, breakfast, lunch, and supper, to be entertained at lunch and supper by these fellows via Graham, of which many excellent videos are on YouTube done by this man under the handle Super Junmar. That is five star. In the northeast corner of Kawama, there's a, a pathway that leads east along the beach through the uh, beach properties of the resorts Tortuga and then Barlo Vento down to 15th Street and it's a nice way to walk and then turn right at the end and you'll be at the main market for Veradero. Last year when I was here they built this berm and have put uh, pathways over it to try to increase the protection they have against hurricane size waves and uh, it does block the ocean view from ground level here there's a couple of uh, rooms along the beach I'm looking at the coffee bar that's open from 10 till 3 and the small east pool that has been closed this winter unfortunately during uh, high season for tourism and then here's uh, building 21 that I have in a few previous videos and that brings me back to building 26 that is on the beach and I'll have a look inside so as I walk uh, up into the entrance of uh, building 26 uh, there's uh, four rooms on the ground floor two on that side over in the corners the stairs going up there's a little patio on the south side and a couple more rooms this way my wife and I were in 2601 one year I've just uh, imposed on Jay Ferg to let me into 2602 just to give you a sense of entering by the washroom has the tub and toilet in a separate part of the washroom and then you go into the main part of the room and uh, dresser glass wall out to their little deck here there's the berm then that's all that's between this room and the ocean there's a big window in the corner and uh, a couple of uh, beds shoved together here out this way is uh, back to what I was showing a moment earlier beachfront rooms, coffee bar, and the small pool. They've got the air conditioner running. But it's a nice room. It's a good sized room. I've uh, come upstairs in building 34. There you see 3405. There's just the one room upstairs and the rest are down there off of 3405 is a small interior uh, area and a, an outside spot catching some morning sun with a view over the rooftops here of the ocean not very far away at all and this uh, flat roof that's the east side of Kawama and the buildings uh, across the street there is uh, the resort Tortuga. The clocks went ahead uh, a couple of days ago and so our 6.30 repeaters dinner 
has begun during daylight. And we appear to have a fairly full house. We just got here. Everyone was asked what would they prefer, the seafood or the chicken dinner. The seafood is a choice of shrimp with a steak and uh, seafood soup and the chicken dinner comes with its own soup as well. And that guy's trying to make fun of me. Lena gave uh, her welcoming uh, presentation. Nancy's serving across the table and uh, over uh, the far side uh, serving uh, salads is uh, Gretel. Let me look through the window here in the kitchen. We'll catch uh, Kanai coming out. So we're doing it again. March 12th. Hanging out on the beach uh, in front of Club Kawama, Paradero, Cuba, on my last day, March 20th, and uh, enjoying uh, a few drinks. I found a uh, Caesar Pleaser dry mix, an aisle 29 at Canadian Tire. Mix it with some water and grab a couple of glasses of vodka and ice. And Start the party. And they say it's a uh, patriarchal society. <laughs> to the canal on the south side of Kawama. There's the bridge entering the peninsula and a row of stores out in front of Kawama along the street. When I came in December I changed uh, $500 at the bank at the airport and uh, I asked for the receipt. And she wouldn't give me the receipt so I asked her to write it in a piece of paper and she wrote it in a piece of paper and later on I realized she shortchanged me four cukes. And then uh, I got, so this time I got here and it was closed so I changed my money there, $500, at the bank in front of Kawama. But it's not a bank anymore, it's a money exchange. And the next day a friend of mine uh, changed uh, his money at the bank in 36th Street and got 73 and a half cents, whereas I, these people gave me 68. They told me, and I was so upset uh, I was counting it and later on realized that they didn't even give me that. So always ask for a receipt and uh, count it while you're standing right there.
and do the math. That's one way they relieve you of some of your extra money. Friday evening entertainment. Kawama is set up uh, for a beach party. Have a fenced off area around the main building. Party starts at six. Dancing on the sand. I've never been here for this event before. And I'm glad to see they try to change things up.